trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN Educating Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I had several questions uh, in the last uh, three or four hours here because we've had a big move here in the S&P, and the questions are mainly from people who have not seen this ABCD pattern, which has been around for a long, long time, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Basically, what it is, folks, it's equal moves, AB equals CD. They happen all the time. And all you have to do is to find out what the pattern is you're looking at, and that's what you want to be watching. This happens to be a very unusual day because they all hit it at the same time. The key to this today, though, folks, was right over here in the Dow Jones E-mini. If I can get that doggone thing up here, hold on a second. I will show you why it was so interesting, and it's right over here. Okay, here is the Dow Jones. Now, remember, folks. This is, let me get the hourly up so you can see it and make the comparison. Okay, now here is the, the price pattern for the Dow Jones is supposed to be right here. Okay, that's the equal move like we had in the NASDAQ, and we also had that in the S&P. They made those perfectly. We did not do that with the Dow Jones. As the, Listen, stop and follow my train of thought here because I this is – you know, basically how you try to read the tape. But as you were sitting right here, the NASDAQ was down 330 points. The S&P was down 60. And this was up on the day. I mean, that, now that's telling you that there's something really big happening. So what I was watching, along with, the, you know, buying the S&P, I was watching this on a shorter term basis because here's where we were. Okay, now you can see we had the big rally here. And we're still going straight down. See, the NASDAQ is still going straight down when this is doing this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when you have a good rally off of something. And, hey, I don't know nothing about the fundamentals, and I don't never profess to be. But there is your 382 coming in. Well, it hit the 50% one here. And then it made another 382 right behind it. That's the one that told you that, uh-oh, Rocket Ship City is on its way. All you can see here, you came and stopped almost exactly to the tick with 10 Dow points and then away it goes and look where we are now we're right up to an area where it should run into some intraday resistance folks but when you're up 600 points midday with three hours to go and the shorts are sitting there hanging from the guillotine uh, is not uh, not a happy camper for those folks but you know they can reverse at any any particular time but we had other things that were really really good thanks to our good friend mr. Shane Smolian. He was talking about the short side of gold yesterday. If you remember, when we were watching gold yesterday, I wanted to bring this up because this is what was really interesting today. This is the shorter term, but we're going to go down to the 13-minute so that we can see what we were watching. Remember yesterday, we were watching this pattern right here, that ABCD pattern. It had the big move down, but look what happened here early this morning folks just as beautiful as possibly could be and this took several hours to complete and there it is i mean these i'm i'm doing these intraday because i trade intraday uh, somewhat i do swing trades but there's your high for the day okay and there there was your low and look look how it came down like this the very first chance you had at the 382 was a beautiful one right in here there was a 382, and uh, that completed uh, that particular trade. So anyway, that's what we're looking at when we're watching uh, these intraday things. But by golly, you know, it, it's just basically the, the class I'm going to give tomorrow. Well, it's not a class. It's going to be a trading room tomorrow. Uh, ask, uh, just go to Jacob at uh, TFNN.com. I think it's $250 or 245 and uh, you get uh, six hours of live trading. We do a second and fourth Fridays of every month. And uh, so far we've had 10 and we've had uh, 
one losing day, one break even, and eight winning days. And some of the winning days were really, really very, you know, in the thousands of dollars. But we've been able to make the tuition on eight of the 10 days with one break even. But I, the last, that break even day, uh, I should have made a lot more because I'm trading defensively because I don't want people to lose because I know a lot of the folks are uh, what we call uh, neophyte traders. And, you know, I'm trying to prove to them, you know, how these patterns work. And they work on the daily too, folks. It's not just these intradays. They're on everything. You know, that's what uh, Mandelbrot and Gartley talked about when they did fractal analysis. You basically start with the seed, which is this right here, that A, B, C, D. And you see it all the time. Once you start looking for it, look at that. Is that hard? Hello, operator. Give me a break. Now, that's a, that's a $600 move with a $300 stop. I mean, that's not a bad deal. Is it? Well, that's what I'm looking at here anyway. Okay, now we got another one up here. We want to take a quick look here. Oh, where are we here? Oh, here is the S&P cash. I wanted to show you this because, you know, you watch the cash. This is the actual cash market. And remember, it gapped lower this morning. You see where it gapped? Okay. You see the ABCD right here? There was your – this made a 50% retracement, remember? The NASDAQ made a 38% retracement. The S&P and the S&P cash made a 50%. There's your A, B, C, D. Uh, it's missing some data in here, but that'll be easy to fix. Hold on. I think it will be. Yeah, there we go. There it is right there. Okay, now there's the ABCD to the bottom. But look look at the 1.618 expansion of the move, folks. You think these numbers are not beautiful? There's a book that you should get. If you like this kind of stuff, there's a real easy book to read, and it's one of my favorites. It's called The Dimensions of Paradise by John Michel, M-I-C-H-E-L. And he's a Englander, and he studied a lot of these things all across Europe and Egypt and uh, Saxawaman and uh, Matsu Picchu and uh, all these other places that are out there with all these different, uh, you know, sites that have all these numbers of sacred geometry. But the, num the name of the book is The Dimensions of Paradise by John Michel. It's a great book saying, wow, these numbers are everywhere. And that's what you're watching. So what to look for? Well, the last time we had a rally like this, the S&P rallied from, four, from 547 to 556. Folks, it's already completed that. This move right here has been done in three hours. What is that telling you? We're most probably going to go higher. But I will mention this. Pay real close attention to this one, folks. As you, you folks know, I've been bearish for a while except for today. When we go below here, I don't know when it's going to be. When we go below here, you do not want to be long stocks because that is going to be a nasty little rascal. Whenever it happens, I don't know when it'll happen or even if it'll happen. But that's the one we're paying really close attention to uh, here today. Let me check and see how the old clock on the wall is today. And yeah, we still got 47 seconds. It got a chance to check at Apple, our favorite stock of the year, of the day, of the second. Let's get it up here. Jeff Huge will be our guest at the break here, and here's Apple, and uh, we'll do a 30-minute. We'll see how how low it got to see if it reached any, see if it reached any A B C D patterns. Oh, oh boy, you gotta love the Wait, Lee, come on, stay with me. You gotta, you gotta. If you like A B C D, stay with us for a little treat, boys and girls. Okay, we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com.
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick look at Apple, and then we'll move to Tesla. You can see here, uh, this is the high we made back here on the 15th of July. We came down, and we had a nice three-day rally. That was a perfect 382. There's your A, B, C. We'll just draw it in so you can see it easily enough. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg. And there's your 382 retracement coming in here. Now, we know that if the 382 retracement is correct, that will tell you what your profit objective is going to be on this move, correct? Because if you have an A, B, C, D on the upside, you have an A, B, C, D to the downside. And this is what you should do. If you're at home and you want to learn how to do this, and this is how I learned it back before we had these kind of charts. You just draw the line like that, and there's your A, B leg right there. And if A, B equals C, D, whoops, let's move it over this way, cowboy. And there's your C, D leg coming in right here and it misses it by hold on by the amount of it comes in at 1350 and the low was 1550 so it missed it by by one dollar of the exact uh, ABCD price so let me draw it in I know it, it's easier to draw there's your AB leg right here there's your CD leg coming in right there yeah it misses it by uh, just about a dollar and now we're having a, a pretty good rally uh, since we're talking about stocks, let's move on. I won't be doing stocks on Fridays uh, and, uh, because of folks that we like the volatility. We trade bonds, gold, crude oil. Those are the ones that are the best ones to trade. Let's get the um, Tesla up here just one second because it's in the news quite a bit because of politics and uh, electric vehicles and everything else. So, Okay, we had a big break, remember, in Tesla. Now now we're getting something, and if you like ABCD, you're right here again. There's your ABCD forming right now here in Tesla. There's the there's the big move down on that ABCD with the big gap. It went lower. Let's just get up to you can see it. There's where we're, there's where our profit, there's where our, uh, where we thought it was going to go was right here. Now, it opened, it was down quite a bit, even went below the 1618. We've made a small ABCD pattern here now. It really is, but let's look at it on a 15 minute. We can see it really clearly. And there it is right there. Just open her up and you can see it. We just blow it up right there. And there's your ABCD pattern forming 
we have two of them. We have an A, B, C, D right there, and we have one right behind it, which is A, B, C, D right there, and we are at there right now. At uh, shouldn't get any higher than that. We're back into the opening range. So, uh, but the market's so strong, it could pull everything up because you know, when, once uh, the market explodes to the upside like this one has, it doesn't take very long for it to get moving. Okay, now let's move on to um, a couple other things that we need to cover. Let's get this up out of the way here, and we want to take a look at the gold. We've already covered the gold. I'm going to have to fix my charts here, folks, just a second. I just hit them in cascade for it, uh, <clears throat> format, and we'll be able to see, you know, what we're looking at. Now, what we were watching here uh, in the crude oil, I wanted to show you, this is the crude oil. This is our uh, program. It, you can these, these times of the day, folks, are repeatable all the time. All we're looking at here, all these A, B, C, D patterns that are completing in this level. So what I'm going to do is going to take the AI program out, and we'll just look at a a small uh, eight-minute chart like this, which is pretty good. You can see here uh, we had a new low right here, and then look what happened. This is the sequence of what happened. And remember, every, everybody's bearish because it took out the lows of the last week over here. And then what you do? You made the first A, B, C, D pattern right here, and then you made the second A, B, C, D pattern right behind it, okay? See, that went, it, it went, to, because this is so strong, we know that when you see a move like this, this CD leg is going to be 1.618 of the AB leg. So all this program does, I can do this in my sleep because I see it all the time. You just make the swing 1.27 of that move, and it'll get you right just about exactly to the promised land. And here's the key right here. Now, this is a half-hour pullback, folks. I know it doesn't look like much, but that's a half-hour pullback, and here's where the fat lady sings. Uh oh, I didn't mean I meant that in the woke sense. Sorry about that. That's my old Terre Haute, Indiana upbringing. There is your exact mundo to the 382. How do you do? And it has well over a dollar and a half in it. So that's what. And look what the price objective is right there. See, there's your larger A B C D coming in right up there. A, B, C, D, that's the one for me, as Mark Douglas used to say as we traded together here for the six years he was writing that book, uh, Trading in the Zone, one of the greatest books ever written, in my opinion, about the markets and psychology is really good. Now, let's move over here to Treasury Bonds. This was the projected range for today. I wanted to get the, uh, get the price up so you'll be able to see it. Remember, we've been bearish bonds for quite some time. We had the big bull, big bullish move here. Then we had to rally up, okay? And this is just an hourly. Now, you can see it's held that level extremely well. There was your drive one, drive two, drive three. Went a little bit lower. Then we had the big move up, okay? And where did that big move stop? Just draw it over here, and you'll see what I believe it was exactly 50% of the high we made right back here and there it is pretty much spot on and that's uh, that's what's been happening there so far we had very little let's just go to a smaller time frame because bonds are a great tra trading vehicle but the problem is sometimes you get these real quiet ranges like in the middle of the night right before the market opens and stuff and here's the opening price see that's where the that's where all the action is happening and so that's the one you want to be watching and today what it did was you have the lower tops. You see the lower tops coming in here. So the first thing you do is you measure your top to the last one. There's your 50% retracement. We would have sold it to 382 or the 50%, and now it's you know still heading down. So that's another one that was working in the right direction uh, so far today. Have a question about the uh, – hold on one second. We'll get it up here. A question about wheat, because wheat is still getting beat up a little bit, but it's going to be ready one of these days, folks. Might be ready tomorrow with the live trading. You want to join us if you can. Three hours nonstop of this stuff. Can you believe it? Why do I do that? I love it. That's why. Hold on. Here is the wheat. Uh, let's do Christmas wheat. I get it up. I don't want to do September. Okay, here's Christmas wheat. We're still coming down here today. This was a... Uh, uh, th this was yesterday's action. Here was today's action. You'll see what it did last night. What did it do? Exactly to the 382 retracement right here, setting up the profit objective, which is going to be right there. 
And all that is is nothing more than the harmony of the A, B, C, D pattern coming in right there. It's That's what you look for. When you find these, oh, this is going to be one we got tomorrow coming in. Oh, we got to look at this right now, boys and girls, since we've got a minute. Oh, we only got less than that. Let's look at the hourly because there's going to be our trade for tomorrow. I'll let you tell me where it's going to be, right? Remember this big A, B, C, D pattern right here? Look at these A, B, C, Ds. They're everywhere, everywhere. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to. Let's check at the old clock on the wall, see what we've got here as far as time, 34 seconds. This will be one of our trades, I'm pretty sure, because we've only got another hour of this, and then we got all, all night. So Friday is going to be a, a really nice one, and I'll give you a little hint. A, B equals C, D. Oh, it's going to be, well, it might even be f farther down than that, but we'll be watching very, very closely for sure. We'll be right back, folks, with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks. We have Jeff Hughes as our guest today, Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing great, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's our pleasure. Well, we had a big move down, pal. We're having a little bit of a rally, well, a little more than a little bit of a rally today. But let's talk about uh, this bull market that uh, you talk about. Behold, the bull market of 2024. Boy, it didn't have a lot of participation in some things, did it? No, you know, we, we post this uh, year-to-date equity index scorecard in our weekly note every week because it's really difficult to know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. Last week, we saw a really interesting change. Uh, we had been looking at the S&P 500 and NASDAQ making weekly new highs week after week for six consecutive weeks. But last week, we saw the Dow confirm the S&P and the S&P equal weight and the S&P 400 also confirm. However, the NASDAQ 100 was conspicuously absent last week. It did not make a new high. And uh, we also saw that the S&P 500 posted a big bearish engulfing candle for the week. That was a key reversal week uh, based on our uh, study of technical analysis. And as a result, you know, we think these the non-confirmations that existed really between some of the you know uh, major averages like the Nasdaq Composite, the Dow Transports, utilities, uh, Russell did not make a new high. Um, the uh, value line, the ge- uh, geometric and uh, arithmetic indexes, as well as the MSCI All Country, all were conspicuously absent from making new highs. And so, you know, we've got this non-confirmation. Uh, in there. And that's typically a condition that tends to precede a major trend reversal. And I think that's what we're seeing this week. Well, boy, I tell you, we've had a heck of a run. Now, you show this thing about the Russell versus the NASDAQ, and the Russell did have a monster rally. So that's right along what we were looking for, wasn't it? Well, you know, we got this monster rally, right? But this is a chart that dates back to uh, May of 2000. So we're looking back almost 25 years here. And the long-term wow. trend of this ratio of the Russell 2000 to the NASDAQ 100, you know, it really has gotten quite narrow. Uh, but, you know, the point here is that, you know, there's just no convincing technical ele- evidence that's been illustrated in this chart that would suggest that the current surge in relative strength of the Russell 2000 versus the NASDAQ 100 is going to sustain its its fairly nascent advance, um, you know, never mind uh, even penetrate the, the downtrend that's been in place since 2006. We're just nowhere near that point at this juncture. And so, you know, our thinking around this rally in the NASDAQ relative to the mega caps is that we have a, um, a reversal of positioning. It's a big short covering rally. And until we take out those trend lines, there's really nothing to talk about in our view. Well, how about the uh, the, the thrust, uh, there was a, the, the no breath thrust signal that you have on here? I've not seen this one before. You explain to me what that is. Is that Marty's yeah, you know, that um, this? I worked for Steve Luthold for a number of years, and Steve was okay. a big quant, and he looked at a lot of different uh, models to determine whether you know the price action was credible or not. One of those models is something called the moving balance indicator. This was a indicator developed by a guy named Humphrey Lloyd back in the 1960s. He wrote a book about it in 1976 called the moving balance system. And, you know, without getting too deep in the weeds, this MBI measures the momentum of the 10 day moving average of net advancing issues on the NYSE adjusted for volume. And when the MBI uh, gets above 90%, it's indicative of a very powerful surge in the market's breadth, something that we might call a breadth thrust. And that has t- traditionally marked the beginning of every durable advance in the S&P 500 dating back to 1965. The bottom panel actually shows a, a competing model, and this is one developed by Marty Zweig in the 1970s. It's called the Zweig Breadth Thrust Indicator, and, and it's been pretty reliable, probably the second most reliable uh, indicator because it just doesn't have as long a history, but we didn't get a breath signal there either. And so because neither one of these really reliable models has uh, generated a breath thrust signal, I don't think, or I just think it's too early to talk about, um, you know, this, this rotation out of big cap into small cap as being a sustainable event. 
Wow. The next one here is the Bradley model. I've seen this before. This is pretty cool. That's right. <laughs> I agree. I'm actually I, I, giving I, you credit for that. I actually uh, took this chart from one of your slides recently. Yeah. And, um, well, you know, oh, what I, I wanted to overlay on top of this is the simple fact that the worst three months of the year began on Sunday. Sunday was the buck moon. What's the buck yeah. moon? Well, um, you know, it's July 21st. It's, it gets its namesake from the Native American tribes as the full moon that has coincided traditionally with the seasonal time when the buck deer push their antlers through their foreheads. And so um, it's kind of a, a fun thing, right? You know, but, but at the yeah. same time, it actually marks the point of acceleration within the Bradley model's uh, declination into its projected early November low. And so we see that breakdown kind of consistent with the buck moon. And uh, we don't think that low is uh, uh, going to come into play until right around the presidential election, November 5th. And so, you know, it seems to me that this, this worst three months of the year, which are notoriously poor for August, September, October, are slated to continue to be poor in this election cycle, which could put a lot of pressure on stocks into the November 5th election. Okay, now let's move on to the uh, the Hindenburg. I never could understand. Is this where the moving averages cross and stuff like that? No, it's a little different than that. The, the Hindenburg Omen was developed by a guy named Jim Mika back in the early 90s, and this was after the crash of 87. Mika became really interested in developing an early warning system for future stock market crashes. And so after years of exhaustive research and analysis, and, and Mika by training was a mathematician, he determined that, there were three concurrent preconditions that must be met before the stock market could crash. And the first one was the NYSE index must be higher than its 50 day or than it was 50 days ago. The second one was that the number of NYSE new 52 week highs and the new 52 week lows must both exceed a threshold of 2.8%. And then the third one was that the NYSE market breadth as measured by the McClellan oscillator must break below zero. And we actually got that on the NYSE on July 9th, but it wasn't confirmed by the NASDAQ at that time. And so what we're seeing right now, Larry, is yesterday the NASDAQ confirmed it. So we can see this July 9th Hindenburg omen that uh, was evident in the NYSE composite data on July 9th was bracketed by Hindenburg omens in the NASDAQ composite data on June 21st and July 24th, most recently. And that is consistent with past indications where these, these dual Hindenburg omens between the NYSE and NASDAQ data series uh, tend to precede a major crash in the index. And so, you know, our contention is that, you know, investors can ignore these warnings at their own peril, look forward to the next day, you know, three weeks, I think that we should be very, very concerned about where the market is. I agree. Just stay with us, please. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Got some great charts coming up. Stay with us. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. 
Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights about alligator jaws. Now, this one I've not seen before, so you're going to have to... Go slow you know, for the old cowboy. We, we like to talk about volatility, and um, what we're looking at here is we're seeing the skew index. This is the CBOE skew index on the top frame, and the VIX index, the uh, CBOE volatility index on the bottom frame. And historically, what um, you would expect is skew is kind of a measure of, of demand for out of the money calls. So when skew is very, very high, like it was recently, got up to uh, near. Uh, uh, record high it was uh, actually the high that, that we put in back in uh, 2023 at 162.5%. And, and just for reference, 100% is normal skew, uh, that traditional sort of smile skew that you'd expect in a volatility index. Uh, at 162%, it just means that people are dying to buy out-of-the-money calls. And we've seen that kind of reverse, okay? And, and the point is that if we break below that advancing trend line that connects the, the cycle low to the most recent low, um, that would suggest that we're probably going significantly lower. In other words, that demand for out-of-money calls is going to collapse back to zero probably. In the bottom frame, we see the VIX index, which bottomed around 11.5% volatility. That is broken out above uh, a third trend line. It's well above its 21-day moving average, which is typically – defining a new surge in volatility, a new uptrend, our suspicion is that we're going to see these two lines, uh, you know, kind of converge again together, the snapping shut of the alligator jaws, which we've seen in the past. So, um, you know, we are uh, very concerned right now that volatility will continue to extend much higher into the mid to high 30s, most likely possibly even above 40 percent. Meanwhile, we think that the skew index will collapse back down to uh, a normal range of about 100%, where there will be zero demand for out-of-the-money calls and uh, lots of demand for in-the-money puts, or at-the-money okay. puts, rather. Okay, the S&P did top on July 16th. I don't think there's any question about that. We're only nine days into that move. That was one heck of a move. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, and, and I think it really ended something big. I think it was a generational top. Uh, a lot of the indicators that we look at, and we'll talk about a couple of them here in terms of uh, investor sentiment, and positioning, and just where we are in the cycle and in the Elliott Wave count, which we think completed uh, cycle wave five of a super cycle advance that it began 93 years ago uh, back in uh, at the 1932 low. And so, you know, where I think we're headed is uh, considerably lower, but this is just really the very initial uh, you know, subdivisions of, of the first 
minor wave decline. And, and I don't think we've really done much at all. We've got wave one and wave two in place. Sure. Possibly what we saw yesterday was another wave one and today another wave two uh, recovery at a smaller degree of trend. Eventually, I think we're going to take uh, the S&P all the way back down to its 200 uh, a, a day moving average, which comes into play about 49.75. And, you know, if we're right about where we are in the Elliott wave count, if we take out that 200 day moving average, we're headed uh, significantly lower. And I'm not going to throw levels out there, Larry, because they'll just blow people's minds. But, but I think yeah. we're, we're looking at a generational top last week. And uh, now is not the time to be in equities going forward. I have to agree with that. I certainly do. Jeff, the next one is about NVIDIA. This is the most loved stock in the world, and uh, it's had a pretty good sell-off. From uh, We've dropped about uh, 20%, uh, no, a little more, but, but almost 30%, haven't we, uh, over the past uh, 12 days? Yeah, you know, the, the NVIDIA topped at about $141 back on uh, June 20th, and um, that was, of course, the, uh, the summer solstice, right? And so yep. uh, we think that's critical. Uh, we think that the level of hype around the AI and NVIDIA story, uh, you know, it kind, of, it kind of dovetails with the level of hype that we saw around the metaverse with uh, Facebook uh, a number of uh, years ago. And, of course, uh, around the Internet bubble with Intel and, and Cisco and some of those names back then, which crashed 78, 83 percent and took, you know, 10 years to recover back to the levels from which they fell. Um, we think NVIDIA is going the same direction here. Uh, our analysis suggests that NVIDIA topped at at least uh, intermediate degree of trend. So a minor wave five of, of intermediate wave five topped on June 20th. Uh, we've seen one impulse wave down. That's wave one. We saw an ABC corrective waveform that took us up to around uh, 136 or so back in uh, the middle of July here. And since that time, we've put in another five wave decline which looks like it's a third wave. We could get a rally back that falls just short of wave one's low around 117 and change. And then we think the next move to the downside will carry uh, the price down to around $93, which should end minor wave one down. And that's minor wave one of five. So we'll get at least five at minor degree down, which will complete uh, intermediate wave one, which again is just one of five. This is going to go much, much lower. We we would not be surprised to see the stock uh, take out the um, uh, the lows that we saw in 2022. Eventually, wow, well that's that that would be a big shock to a lot of people, Jeff. That's for sure. Okay, no, no. invest. The, I like this one about investor sentiment has peaked. That's certainly I was certainly aware of that you've been talking about it for quite some time but it took a while for the market to realize it didn't it yeah you know what's interesting is that we had a couple false starts here back at the end of the first quarter we saw uh you know in, in, in uh, professional investor uh sentiment peak at a leveraged 102 percent so that's the top frame where we show the national association of Na active investment managers these are professional investors uh that respond to a survey every week uh, we just saw that level peak again at 103%. So professional investors were dying to get leveraged long uh, just as just the week before the market peaked. And, of course, as the market started to sell off, uh, individual investors uh, got very, very bullish and hit their most recent peak of just around uh, the bull bear spread, just around 30, which is typically marked the peak for uh, individual investor sentiment. And so I think it's interesting that you get the pros and the individual retail investors bracketing the peak of the market like that. It, it's just textbook, right? And uh, we think we have a long way to go before that sentiment gets down to a, a low level below 20 percent uh, or so where it needs to be uh, in order to uh, suggest that we're at a washout stage. And I think that will be many weeks, if not months away. Okay, now let's have a little commercial for your great newsletter. It's on Substack. Tell the folks about it. Sure. You know, we've been writing this newsletter for three years now. The next publication will be August 3rd. This will be our three-year anniversary issue. It's going to be the best issue we've ever written, I think, because we've got so much planned to go in it. Um, and, uh, you know, you can find it on uh, Substack at hugeinsights.substack.com. Uh, you know, it's 
they're basically free to get the, the opening salvo, kind of the first four or five pages. But uh, then we charge uh, a small fee, about $15 a month. Uh, you know, you can get the whole thing and get access to all of our positioning recommendations and market analysis. And uh, also paid subscribers get our top actionable trade idea every week, as well as updated market commentary every Wednesday. So it's definitely a lot of value. For $15. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on again soon. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, folks. Thanks, Larry. You bet. I posted here his website, his Twitter, and his Substack right there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this e mini s and uh, We had this huge rally, folks, it went almost 100. It did win 100 handles. And almost exactly, and remember, we were expecting it to repeat itself just like it did off that other one, and there it was right there. It's a near-perfect completion. Well, it's as close as you can get. Now, the other thing that you want to watch, if this happens to be a 382 off of this, folks, be uh, careful. Be very, very careful. Oh, it missed it by a little bit. Watch this number tomorrow at 41, 45, 41. We've got to get above that. If it only does this for a few days, we're going down more. That's basically it. Looking at the NASDAQ, we did the same thing. There's what we were watching here this morning. If you remember, I put this in so you can see the ABCD structure. That was right there. There's where it went to. And this rally, as you can see, was equal to this rally right here. Just take this over and we'll just draw this in. And you'll see where did it stop. 
exactly at the 382 of this high right here. In other words, this this rally only took one day. This one took six days. So the fact that it did this is a good sign. It should take a little bit of time to have a little bit more of a rally. But that's the main thing is going below these lows to today is uh, really, really bad. I mean, just you don't want to even think about buying stocks for a couple of years if that happens. But I don't think that will happen right away. But, again, that's my opinion and doesn't always count very much, correct? <laughs> All right, let's move on here. And I cover up one more thing. Oh, we've got time is, is out now. I think I've only got a second or two left. Uh, try to join the show tomorrow if you can, folks. It's from 6 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock until 12 o'clock New York time. Uh, it's live trading. You get two, two six-hour two three-hour sessions a month, which is six hours. Live trading, we're there to make money. I do a tiny bit of teaching if someone has questions and stuff, but it goes pretty quickly and you'll have a lot of fun. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.